Hi, welcome to the MathCenter.com. Uh, in this video, we are going to be looking at uh, three multiple choice questions. They appeared on the exam, AS Physics, October, November 2019, subject code 9702, paper 1 1. Question 13. An object of weight 120 Newton is supported in equilibrium by two strings as shown. The important words, 120 Newton is the weight and equilibrium. Yeah? And we asked, what is the tension T1 in the left hand string? Okay, so we're going to label this T1 and we're going to label this T2 and we have the third force here which is the weight which is 120. Okay, there are only three forces here and what we'll do is we will draw the triangle of forces. Okay, we're dealing with an equilibrium situation so we'll draw the triangle of forces. There are only three forces here so let's start with the 120. Okay, so we're gonna draw it to scale. Okay, we're going to use some minor trigonometry. So we will first represent the 120 Newton and then we will draw this T2 here up this way and then we will plug in the T1 okay so let's label this T2 okay this will be T1 so between uh, T1 and T2 this is 20 this is 70 so this is 90 degrees so we have 90 and then uh, between 120, okay, between the 120 force and T2, we have uh, 90 minus 20 will be 70 degrees. And between the 120 force and T1, you will have 20 degrees. Okay, so looking at this picture here, we can plug in the angles, yeah? The 90 degrees is the easiest, the one that you see here between uh, T1 and T2. So between the 120 Newton force and the T2 Newton, it's 70 degrees. And then here, it'll be just 20 degrees. Yeah? 90 minus 70 is 20. So we asked to find T1, that'll just be 120 cos, because this is 90 degrees. So we can use some right angle geometry here. So T1 will just be from here, right? We are looking at this picture here. T1 will be 120 cos 20. Use the calculator and you will get 112.76 Newton. Okay? So the important thing, T1 is 120 cos 20, excuse me, 120 times cos 20 degrees. And use the calculator, you will get 112.76. Therefore, our correct response will be C113 Newton. Next question, number 14. In a large container in an oil refinery, three oils of different densities are mixed. Okay. No chemical activity. Okay. No chemical reaction takes place. The mixture consists of all these three kinds of oils with different densities. And we asked to find the density of the mixture. The only formula we are going to use, okay, the only formula we are going to use is density equals to mass over volume. Now the mass is easy, okay, now the mass you just need to add up this plus this plus this. You add the three masses up, M1 plus M2 plus M3, you will get MT. I use T here for total, yeah. So total mass will be one will be twelve hundred plus fifteen hundred is uh, twenty seven hundred. Twenty seven hundred plus uh, four thousand will be sixty seven hundred. There you have it. Okay, six seven zero zero kg. Now because density is mass over volume, where volume will be mass over density. Yeah, density. Okay, skip. Let me say it again. Yeah, density is mass over volume. So your volume will be mass over density. Now I need my total volume now will be V1 plus V2 plus V3. 
what is v1 v1 will be 1200 divided by 1100 okay mass over density and then v2 will be 1500 divided by how much 860 and v3 this will be 4000 divided by what's the density 910 okay so add these numbers up use a calculator okay add these numbers up use a calculator and that goes into our denominator the numerator you know is 6700 okay I repeat the to find the density of the mixture the numerator you know is 6700 the denominator you just have to use a calculator and work this number out okay I repeat use a calculator and work this number out uh, plug the numbers in and you'll get 926.605 as the density that will be kilogram per meter cube closest answer is a 927 kilogram per meter cube good now let's go to the next problem which is question number 15 an electric motor produces 120 watt of useful mechanical output so your output which is your useful work is 120 watt the efficiency is 60 percent efficiency we know is defined as output over input 60 percent so it's 0 0.6 yeah? so output over input is 0 0.6 what are we asked to find let's find the input yeah the input will be rearranging this equation you'll have output over 0 0.6 that will be 120 divided by 0 0.6 and you'll get 200 watt so that's your input okay your input is 200 watt and your useful output is 120 watt so the wasted amount of energy will be 200 minus 120 will be 80 so correct response is D input 200 watt and waste heat power output will be 80 watt and we're done thank you for watching uh, please share this video as much as you can please give it a like and please follow us the on facebook and youtube thank you